Oh, you're a pensioner. You don't look that old. Damn, you look great, man, for being a pensioner. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more King of Retail, and we are moving on from Bill's. Bill's Outfits, you're on your own. Shopkeeper Dave is moving on to his next great adventure, which is right down here, on a budget in more heights. I'm getting paid a little bit more for this, which is very nice, but the population is very low. That can't be good. What have we got going on over here? Yep, our usual complement of farmers, um, quite a large number of laborers, and then a smattering of pensioners and other folks over here. Well, we're going to dive right in. I only have $96. I hope on a budget is going to kind of flesh out my budget. Otherwise, this is going to be a very, very empty store. Oh, and no small goal here either. Achieve a turnover of at least 10 thousand. Wow, this is a big jump from Bill's Outfits where we just had to sell five shirts and call it a day. I assume by turnover they mean $10,000, make $10,000 in sales because it's telling me underneath it that total sales are currently zero. So I'm assuming that they mean I need to get to 10000 in sales. I, I guess that's what they mean by turnover. Um, well, then on a budget better be give me some money to do this. Okay, they gave me 1920 1920. Okay, good. Oh, and they've already got it set up. Oh, excellent. I don't have to spend money on... Oh, there's all sorts of stuff here. Okay. Okay, so we've got some things that are already in place. Thank goodness for that. Otherwise, I was going to blow... Oh, I like what you did with the staff room. Oh, this is... There's no coffee maker. We're, we're going to probably have to correct that, but this is a nice staff room. Oh, I just want to hang out in here all day. Okay, good. So they gave me a start. They gave me a basic here. What have I got in my inventory? I saw there was inventory and storage. What, What is it that we sell here? Okay, it's shirts. We're doing shirts. We're doing active sports, casual, street life. Okay. Now, somebody in the comments had popped up who's had a lot more experience with this game than I have and said there was an easier way to fill the racks. Let, let me see if I can do that. So manage all the spots. And then if I drag, drag this, but then do I drag it across here? No, that doesn't seem to do it. I probably misread the comment, but there was an easier way to do this. What if I just click there? No. Okay, well, that's fine. I kind of, all right, I put one shirt on. All right, all right, all right, it's fine. Everything's fine. We're, we're going to get on a budget up and running. I'm just going to do it the old-fashioned way, and then I'll go back and read the comment again later. It'll be, it'll be totally fine. Oh, and we've got shoes for this one. Okay, so we are selling something a little bit different. Yeah, I guess that is kind of a shoe rack. I'm going to have to look in the displays and see, well, exactly what it is we can put up here, because Bill's just had shirts. Bill's was all about the shirts here. So, um, yeah, manage all the spots, please, and I guess we're going to sell some flip-flops. It's not necessarily what I would buy, and it's certainly not what you want to wear if you're a farmer, which again is our prime demographic around here, or indeed a laborer, which is our other prime demographic. Neither of those people should be wearing flip-flops, but here we are. We're doing it anyway, so throw all of those on the shelf, please, and throw all of those on the shelf. Again, I know I'm doing this in the most inefficient way possible. I'll, I'll try and figure it out for the next one, I promise. So if we can sell shoes, what kind of other displays could I get? That one's relatively cheap. I gotta watch the money this time. I blew all of Bill's money really early on, mostly with the coffee maker, but I think, um, let's get another shoe rack. I think that would be a good idea. Oh, actually, I have anywhere to put that. Hang on. I might not, I might not have anywhere at all to put that. Ooh, okay. Um, what if I rotate it? No, I'm just fresh out of space around here. Okay, get rid of that. Let's try something uh, a little bit different. How about this one? Maybe this one might fit. Let me check this guy out here. No, that's even bigger. Okay. Do I have anything I could put up on the walls? Aha! Yes, I do. Okay, I can get a shoe rack up on the wall here. Let's, yeah, I want that. I want that very much, thank you. Do I have, I didn't really even check my inventory. Do I have any extra shoes that I could be putting on here? So clothes and shoes. No, I don't have any yet. I'll need to order some. Uh, so let's see, that's uh, five of those. I need 20 pairs of shoes at a minimum. Great, do I have any wall racks 
for clothing. So shirts, anything I can put up on a wall. Yeah, that's that's a wall. That's a wall right there. Okay, let me get at least one of those. I might even actually put up another one. Yeah, you can squeeze in right there. Yeah, give me another one of those. Can I maybe put one up? Oh, it won't quite fit in there. Uh, no. No, that, that's about it for on a budget. Yeah, that's that's about what it's going to do. Maybe I'll think about trying to renegotiate it later. Maybe I can move some of these things around. But right now, I need to order some shirts and I need to order some shoes. Okay, what can you show me in some shoes here? They're a little pricey to buy. Uh, do people like sports shoes? There's a big soccer theme going on here. Football for you folks who aren't in the United States. Oh, these are kind of fun. They're pricey. But they're fun. I want to get five of those, please. Yeah, that's good. And these are neat. I'm going to get some of those, too. Let me get five of those. Now, what are these technically calling themselves? Le Fashionable. Okay, so I would assume that that's going to play to a certain demographic. Maybe the smattering of hipsters that we've got in here would like Le Fashionable. Anything that I specifically think that laborers would like. Maybe street life? I don't know. They just want like a regular shoe. I'm going to get five of those. Where am I at? 440. Okay. I can't spend unlimited money on shoes because I don't have unlimited money here. So, you know, not that. I'm just going to get those shoes for right now because the shoes are very, very pricey. But I will throw in some more shirts. Let me get some stuff for the Canadians here. So that can swing over there. Let's get five of those kicking along. And what have we got here? Sort of a 1980s Miami Vice theme going on. I'll get a few of those in there as well. Uh, where are we up to here? 608. And there's going to be a delivery charge too. I got to remember that. This ain't free for the guy to deliver it. However, he does get here instantaneously, which is very nice. It's kind of worth the delivery fee. You get five of those. Okay. Maybe I'll just kind of call it a date. Maybe one more thing. One more thing here. What do we got here? Rush B Psyka. Uh, yeah, sure. Absolutely. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to see if this works the way I think it does. I'm going to save that cart. Uh, order name. Uh, I don't know. Um, basic stuff. No, not V. I got to get my hands on the keyboard here. The keyboard is not where I want it to be. Uh, basic stuff. Just, just for This is just for a test. This is just for a test. So I want to save that. And then I want to order it. Okay, order placed. And let's get my stuff coming in. We'll do that. Now, saved orders. Is that in here? Yes. So if I hit that, could I just replace it? I think is what I want to do. I don't want to do it now because I don't want to spend the money accidentally. But I think I can just sort of duplicate that order over and over again. Request delivery, please. It's delivery time. Yay! Yeah, five minutes later, the guy is right in here. It is so worth that delivery fee. Uh, that's the wrong door. That's the staff door. It's very cool in there, I know, but you don't get to go in there. Uh, excuse me. Yep, I'm going to go unpack all the stuff. There we go. Oh, you need... You're, you're fresh out of storage. Oh, okay. All right, hang on. I'm going to deal with that, like, super, super quickly. Okay, come back. I put another pallet down. Come come back. Did you did you give me all of my stuff? I, I think he just walked out with a box while I was putting the new pallet down. Okay, hopefully... Yeah, I think he skipped some shoes. I think... He, I'm going to request delivery again and see if that brings him back. I think I just... I lost some merchandise there because he didn't have the space to put it. Ooh, on a budget. Ain't going to like that. All right, well, let's at least get all of this unpacked and get it on the racks. Yeah, my shoe rack is not going to be full now. I I requested the delivery again. He didn't He didn't come. So I, I think I may have just kind of broke him. And he's just like, dude, you got nowhere to put these shoes. So I'm going home with them and... Now my family has a bunch of new shoes. I think um, primarily flip-flops, but that's okay. They're shoes nonetheless. All right. Well, kind of maybe lost out on that, but I don't want to spend the money to reorder those. I just kind of like to sell what we've got. I desperately want to put up a poster, but learning my lesson from bills, I'm going to accumulate a little bit of money first. So I think we're going to end the day and then show up tomorrow 
ready to work. All right, bright and early the next morning, dawn's just coming up on on a budget. Obviously, we paid our rent last night too, so that's another money hit there. But I am I am ready to work. I'm going to open up the register, open for customers. Let's rem Oh, you're back. Oh, good. You came back the next day. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that cuz those shoes cost me a lot of money. Okay, I won't, um, I'll see if I deal with that right now. I probably will. Thank you. I really appreciate you coming back. Yeah, unpack everything. It was just the one set of shoes, but, you know, shoes, it's money. And those are, those are kind of nice. I, I could vaguely see myself wearing those under the right circumstances. Mostly if Mrs. Dave told me to, that's when I'd wear them. So, all right, add, add articles. Oh, no, wait, edit? Okay, okay, so do that. No, do that. All right. I'm trying to remember the commenters thing here. So that and then fill the article and theoretically. Yeah, OK. Now it's gone into all of them. All right. So now I just load it up. OK, got it. Sort of vaguely. Uh, does anyone want to buy some shoes? No, no. OK, aha. I think we have our first potential customer here. Hello, sir. Would you like to buy some shoes? I have lots of them. Are you a laborer? Are you interested in flip-flops? Oh, you want to have a conversation? No, nope, no, you don't. No, nope, no, you don't. Um, do you want to have a conversation about shoes or anything at all? Hey, no, you're just you? sort of checking stuff out. Oh, hi. Hi, I'm here. I'm here. What can you say about my assortment? Um, they, they are shirts. That's that's what I... Oh, you don't want to talk about shirts. Do you want to talk about shoes? Hey, a little um, would, would you like to talk about that? Okay, you have no interest in shirts or shoes. Uh, then we're done here. Then we're done here. I'm going to try and pitch it to you anyway and then finish the sale because I think the gentleman next to you would like to have a chat about uh, anything at all. So you, what do I recommend? I would recommend those shoes. Oh, I can recommend a specific thing. Oh, that's fun. I like that. Um, I'm going to try and boost your happiness a little bit. Keep this between us. That sounds so creepy. Uh, now I'm going to end this conversation. <sighs> oh, I want to buy those shoes. Nice. But they said you said they were perfect for you. You said they were totally perfect. I might have missed a sale. I'm not sure. No, no, you're buying the shoes. You were totally buying those shoes. Uh, sir? Sir? Don't don't steal the shoes. Oh, they're still on the rack. It's okay. Oh, God, you are so fussy. What do you want now, sir? Uh, no, I want to talk to you. What do you want? Uh, shoes. Yeah, we, we have shoes here. Uh, I am in desperate need of shoes. Excellent. Good, then I'm going to pitch shoes to you. And I want to increase your needs this time improve the impact and improve the success rate and then end the conversation how about ending the conversation ah i don't like you sir um we're, we're done here i'm just gonna stand by the register until somebody wants to buy something yeah there we go okay you finally bought some shoes good all right 52 on that and you not really sure what you bought but uh you, oh probably a shirt at 28 i think are you is that you again outside sir i'm not coming out there to talk to you it's not going to happen. Uh, you, do you want to buy a shirt? Please say yes. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, yep, it's a shirt. I can see it on the register right there. How much am I getting for you? 107. Oh, I think he bought a few things. All right, I like you. And some more shirts for you. Uh, you are just sort of browsing. I will, I will take a sec to go out and talk to this person. Um, somebody in the comments was saying, oh, wow, isn't that a pain in the neck? You got to keep going out and talking to people. I, I don't actively dislike it. I think it's kind of fun. And really what I'm hoping is that down the road, I can just get an employee to do this for me. That's kind of my thing. I'm going to pitch this and I want to try and make you happier and then improve the impact. Okay, good. And then Whoa. refill your patience and end the conversation, tell you more. Hey, okay, we'll how about I made you even happier? You have one at home, okay. Uh, well, most people do have a shirt at home. That's kind of how shirts work. All right, finish that sale. Thanks. Um, we may or may not have an impact on that. Just want you to check the store, make sure doesn't anyone needs my help here. Oh, hi, you you had a question about shirts? Did you, did you have a question about, I can answer your question about shirts. You, you want shoes, I got shoes. You need shoes, I got shoes. All right, you bought a shirt. You're coming in for what? You look like you want some shoes. Uh, yeah, I got shoes right over there. We've actually sold a fair number of shoes, and by that I mean three pairs. Ah, uh, four now. This guy, this guy's into shoes. This guy. Are you going to buy two pairs of shoes? Oh, that is going to be a lot of money for the day. No, 
No, you're just, no, you're going with one pair of shoe. That's fine. One pair of shoe, you're just going to buy one shoe. Yet everybody outside wants to have a conversation about this. Now, this I'm wondering if, if possibly where the signs are going to help. I know I had fun with my armadillo poster the last time, but I'm wondering if putting some signs outside uh, might make people less inclined to have a chat because they already know the answer. They're like, basically their question is, does this place have shirts? And my sign would say, yes, this place has shirts. Because what the other commenter had said was saving them to a specific category, which I didn't do with my armadillo hey. poster. Um, as fun as it was, and it's awesome, and I'm going to keep using that. But I need to make sure it's the right category so people know what it is and what it means and that it has an impact. Hi, I'll go chat to you. Uh, what's up, dude? Oh, you're a pensioner. You don't look that old. Damn, you look great, man, for being a pensioner. Uh, yeah, I have shirts. Uh, you could take a look at shirts. Okay, I would like to talk to you about shirts. Um, let's Let's talk more about shirts. You need to be happier about shirts. You need to be way happier about shirts and improve the impact of that. Ooh, that was a little bit of a hit, actually. A little bit of a hit. How about how about we just close this out, dude? Um, can I make you happier? A little bit and end the conversation? Okay, I'm just going to kind of go away from you now. Sorry, we couldn't help you today. Oh, 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 customer, <sighs> customer, customer. Now, this guy outside wants to have a real quick chat. I will chat to you very quickly what do you sell um well shirts and shoes basically you could take a look at some shirts okay that's cool let's see if we can make you a little bit happier and how about we improve the impact a little bit uh would you like to okay you want to you want to hear more about it how about we improve your happiness a little bit and let's refill your patience and then end that conversation do you want to be even happier you would like to be even happier okay let's try and finish the sale How'd we do? Okay, we didn't quite make it. Didn't quite make it. I'm shooting for that little bar in their happiness. I think that's what's going to close the sale here. However, you found exactly what you were looking for. And if you didn't, you bought it anyway. 28 sounds like a shirt. Oh, apparently it's closing time. Yep, it is. It's 5 o'clock. It's closing time. I think there's something down the road where we can open later or open earlier or something. I don't remember what it is, but I'm pretty sure that comes up. Oh, 75 bucks. Nice, thank you. You're you're my favorite sale of the day right there. Excellent. Okay. I don't have anything to restock. Because I've, I've pretty much put everything out on display as far as I know. So now I can kind of test my little theory here. If I manage articles and order articles and I go to my saved orders, basic stuff. Yeah, if I just replace that... I, if I replace that, are they going to count what's already on hand? So I don't want to, like, if I have four of these shirts, I don't want to reorder five. I just like to reorder one. So I'm going to, oh, it's ba it's it's bedtime. Okay. All right. We made a thousand bucks. We lost some money. I don't think we made a thousand, but we were at a thousand. So I uh, made like a 700 bucks for the day. All right. Close that out. Back in my office. Well, let's readdress the thing here. Let's readdress the ordering. Now, apparently, I have email. I, I didn't give anyone my email address. It's a global warming awareness conference. Okay. The ecologist segment of the city is going to increase. Seize the moment and invest in this opportunity. Okay. What do ecologists wear? I mean, my short answer is nothing. I think they're a bunch of nudists. That would be my opinion. Uh, what's sales from street life? Oh, Street Life is offering discounts. Okay, is that like today? Discounts on six articles for two days. Oh, I should take advantage of that. Aha! Okay, I think... I think I may have found what I'm looking for. In that when I do reorder sales, if I do add the difference, is that going to be what I want? Yes. Okay, so it's just going to reorder up to the, the number five, basically, which is what I've ordered everything in. Okay, good. That's exactly what I want you to do. So I just want to reorder what we sold. I'm going to order that. All right, order placed. And I can just keep doing that day after day after day. That's good stuff. However, I would actually like to take advantage of street life. Okay, so you say, you're saying that you're on sale. I don't know what your original price was, so you may or may not be, but... You guys got a lot of shoes, so we could throw some of these in the mix. Yeah, these are terrible. 
Let's get a couple of these on board. Uh, 1920. Is that your sale price? I don't know. I'm going to get a few. I'm going to get like five of these. All right. And then we're going to get maybe five of these. Just take a little... I don't want to spend all the money, but we're just going to take a little bit of an advantage. I'm not even going to save this order. I'm just going to get some extra shoes, basically. I'm not quite sure what to make of my customer statistics, because this doesn't seem right. Obviously, we were only open one day, but Visitors 1 is not... That's not accurate. We've obviously sold more stuff than this. What happens if I hit Combine All? Ah, there they are. There they are. Okay, so that was just a... Oh, it was just one farmer. Oh, hang on. Turn this off. This is funny. Okay, so one farmer showed up, and we sold that farmer nothing at all. I knew farmers weren't into flip-flops. It's just not... It's not safe on the farm in flip-flops. There's all sorts of animal dung on the on the ground. You don't want to be doing that in flip-flops. That's no good. I'm going to be going into a cow field in flip-flops. Okay, so if I put all the demographics together, that makes more sense. All right, that makes more sense. So our turnover was 632. We're shooting for that 10,000. That's fine. If we're doing that on a daily basis, that 10,000 is going to be here sooner rather than later. Average sale 5267. Not bad. Not bad. Turn this off. Um, how did we do on, say, the laborers? That was our other big demographic. Not bad. Not bad. We sold six things to laborers. And that was actually a good chunk of our turnover, was the laborers. Okay, solid. I get that now. So combine all. There we go. Oh, and when I go to the next day, now that we've actually had a day's worth of business, we get a little more info here. So these shoes, we did very well on the profit for that. That's the one that we want to focus on those. But this shirt was the most popular. Oh, the little Miami Vice shirt did well. Okay, good. Excellent. Um, let's start the new day. Let's sell some more clothes. Now, do I have to request that delivery or is it... It's not here yet. Okay. So I should... Where? Where is that? That's in stuff, right? Oh, no, he's right here. Never mind. He's right here. He just showed up first thing in the morning. Excellent. Hi, I've got an extra pallet for you today. So uh, please don't go in the staff room, sir. Please, I, I would appreciate it if you didn't do that. Uh, so, um, you got more room now. I didn't actually order that much this time, but you got more room. Okay, let's get everything unpacked. So now I can just use the add articles thing, because it's just going to auto-fill what was already in here, and I've ordered the stock. That's handy. Okay, that makes a lot more sense from Bills. It's desperately trying to add articles, but it's adding articles to kind of flesh it out. I kind of vaguely get that now. Uh, we are technically open for business, but I think I've just got enough time to um, get something into here. So yeah, this one, please. Uh, clothes, shoes. Yeah, these street lifes. Bang those in there, please. All right, that should be everything filled up. I am ready to work the register. There's nobody actually, actually here yet. Only got $268. We better have a darn good day in on a budget. Um, hi, do you need some shoes? I want to put up one of those street signs, the little sandwich board things, and say, hey, we've got shirts in here. Okay, first sale of the day. This young lady here just bought a shirt. Good deal. 54 on that. I wonder if that was that super popular one. I think it was. I think it was. Okay, good. Excellent. All right. Starting to get the hang of it. A little tiny itsy bitsy bit. I desperately want a sandwich board. I just feel that's going to get the people in here without me having to go out and chit-chat with them. So, like, hi, uh, we do shirts. Yep, we have a large selection of those. I'm going to pitch that to you. I really want to make you happy. It's very popular at the moment, um, improving your impact. Let's get your patience up a little bit and improve impact and impact and impact and patience and impact. Okay, I'm going to try and close the deal with you. Oh, no. All right. Thanks. Oh, we got him. We got him. Got a lucky roll there. Lucky roll. Excellent. So you're going to come in and hopefully buy something. All right, I'm ready to help anyone. Oh, God, you need help. I'm actually not ready to help you. Just figure out what you want, dude. Yeah, there he is. I closed the sale, and this guy came along and bought something. Some shoes. There we go. 107 on the shoes. Nice deal there. Good sale on my part. Can sell ice cream to an Eskimo. That's how we're doing it around here. Uh, you, you want a shirt? Do you want to? Do you want to be talked at? Uh, no, not really. 
Uh, you might want to be talked at. No, you don't want to be talked at. Okay. Um, those are those are very yellow shirts. That's the best thing I can say about them, ma'am. Oh, all sorts of people have questions outside. Okay, this, I, I'm working on a sandwich board. Uh, I do shoes. That's what I do here. A wide selection and you desperately need them. Great. Um, I would like to talk to you about that and I'd like to make you super, super happy about that. I would like to improve the impact and um, do all of this. And then... I'm just going to try and close the sale. Maybe we get another lucky roll here. Thanks. Yeah, we did. Okay, we did. We got that lucky roll. This guy should come in and buy some shoes. Those shoes, big money in shoes these days, even the flip-flops. Oh, you have a question in the corner, sir. What can I help you with? Uh, that assortment is, in fact, shoes, not shirts. Um, and you are in desperate need of shoes. Great. And I would like to talk to you about shoes a lot. I would like to make you wicked happy about shoes and improve the impact of it and make you a little bit more patient and improve some more impact and then kind of hope for a lucky roll. Thanks. Oh, yeah, just got it. Just got it. Okay, wow. Hang on. The register is super backed up. Super backed up. I got to get over here. I might, I might need to look at hiring staff. Just someone to work the register, but I don't know if, if I can afford it or, more importantly, if this store can afford it. Yeah, it is turning out to be a very busy day in On a Budget. Uh, you're looking at shoes, so I'm probably going to go ahead and talk to you about shoes. Ver shoes are very interesting to you. Okay, cool. I would love to talk to you about shoes. They're very, very popular, and I'd like to improve the impact of the popularity. I would also like to improve your success rate while boosting your patience a little bit, improving some impact, and hoping for a lucky roll on the finished sale. Oh, not quite. No, no, not even close on that one. Okay, uh, hang on, I need to man the register here. No, oh, he bought something anyway. Okay, 52 bucks, that's not bad. I'll take that. We're doing pretty well today, I think. Mostly in shoes. The shoes are going over very well. Not as much on the shirts. And the shoes make more money. I might have to... Might have to up my plan to renegotiate the displays and try and get some more shoes up on the walls. Well, we're coming up on the end of the day here. It's about 15 minutes till we close. I don't see any other sales coming in the door that quickly. Maybe you? You want a real quick pair of shoes in eight minutes before... Oh, you might. You might. Yeah, just grab a shirt on your way out. I'm about to close, but you know what? I will stay here late and work work for you. Okay, might still be able to get this guy. You're here past closing. No retail employee likes that. Yeah, leave. You know what? Leave. I sold enough shirts today. So back in the office after another day's business, I've done my reorder. So I've replaced everything that we've sold. That is going to come in tomorrow morning. Let's um, Let's just check out how did we actually do for the day uh like a summary there we go can we uh can we get that how did we uh how do we do here oh that's that summary okay i don't actually want that Th yeah this is the one i want customer statistics all right so that was thursday uh yeah it combine all not just the farmers please 27 visitors as opposed to 23 okay turnover 684 and some change 632 and some change average sale exactly the same basically bar a penny okay so we're doing a tiny little bit better on one day to the next. If we keep that up, that's good stuff. I think the next thing I want to do at On a Budget is get a sign. I, I, I know I, I did my crazy, funny armadillo sign, and I'm certainly going to do something equally absurd, but I think a sandwich board out front would save me a lot of time in going back and forth and trying to sell to people. I just feel that's how the mechanic must work. It's got to draw people in there. That's what signs are for. So I think we may design a new sandwich board sign and then throw that out front and see what tomorrow's business is. But we will pick up some more of King of Retail next time. Do please keep the comments coming in. Let me know what you're thinking of King of Retail. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do Please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Oh, yeah, I like that. It kind of looks like Andy Warhol came in here and threw up. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I, don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. Um, excuse you. Excuse you. You were literally in a cubicle, but you felt the need to pee on the floor.